All right, hello and welcome back to Vault Hunters. Today, as you saw in my last episode, we have reached level 50. As you can see down on the bottom above my hunger bar there, which means we have six unspent skill points, which that, mm, that's a good thing. I think we're going to want to uh, grab some more talents today. But before we grab any talents, there's been a lot going on. I've actually been away for a weekend here and uh, was not able to play or record any. And uh, there's nothing to see here. Apparently, we need to move along. Oh, we're just moving along here. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see. Fuzzy over here has some amazing progress on his new mega base. As you can see, his is kind of encompassing of a large area. It's not just a build. It is a terraforming project as well. So he has a ton of stuff actually terraformed through here. Some of this amazing, I don't know what this stuff is. What is this, Glocelium? Yeah, Glocelium, which is really cool. And I believe this is up on Endstone. Ivis Phylium, very cool. Um, really cool custom trees and stuff like that in here as well. So he's doing an amazing job. Um, these trees look somewhat new through here. Okay, this is different. I like it though. Um, let's see, has Rob, Rob has finally been able to make it back from his uh, holiday, his vacation. Looks like he's done some more work over here. Once again, just looking absolutely incredible. Not gonna give away anything on the inside because if you wanna see this incredible treehouse, go check out Rob Plays Minecraft here on YouTube and you'll be able to see it. Now, my fish is still here. Is there anything inside? Nope, just hollow. Eh, bummer. Um, I have not had a chance to work on my base any as of late. Again, I was kind of gone and uh, was not able to actually do much more. Uh, still working on my uh, stuff here for the vaulter. But that actually brings me to my next item. So we're up here at the gold farm. Uh, this was constructed by the wonderful Fuzzy Cub. Uh, excellent gold farm. And one of the things that we wanted to do... Whoa kind of stuck there. One of the things we wanted to do was with all of the gold that we're getting, we wanted to do some bartering. So we have built a piglin bartering hall and we only have three piglins in there right now, which is kind of a bummer. Um, but we did construct this bartering hall and it transform it, it takes all the items down here to this storage completely automated. Uh, we have gravel, arrows, here's the nether bricks. I'm going to steal some of these real quick. Um, and so yeah, so whenever we're uh, uh, sitting here AFKing at the gold farm, getting all this gold, we can take that gold, put it into, this is, what is this, a lime elevator? Can I use it? Oh, there's no elevator above it. Yeah, elevator would make a lot more sense right here. Uh, we can take that gold and put it into this trading system to get all of those items. Uh, so a lot of the times we'll end up with uh, a vaulter with like 4,000 gravel or something like that. So that is a good way to uh, make make a whole bunch of gravel uh, really quickly without actually having to go and collect it. And we'll stop by the factory here. I just noticed that. Whoa, that's kind of cool. wonder how that's done. I'll have to look that up. Ah, you know, the factory's looking good. He has a bunch of Eternals, which... I think I've talked about this in the past. I have the Eternals, but I've never actually used them in the vault. I always end up uh, fighting the boss, hitting my shaman button, and never actually using the Eternal because I forget I have it. So, I did a little something. I bound my button for shaman to also be the same button as summon Eternal. So, whenever I hit my rampage button, which gives me the shaman ability, it also will summon an Eternal now. So I can just hit that one button and uh, do both in one shot. So now my little Eternal over here, Paul, which I probably should rename him, with him and his gear, he's got a nice little sword there. Uh, he'll give me resistance and uh, he'll help me take out that boss or any mobs around the boss. So as I said before, I have some of these extra skill points. I have six of them. So let's look at the abilities and see if there's anything I want to take here. Now I can take a specialty with Summon Eternal. Um, I think I might possibly take the overpower just to give my eternal, you know, a little extra hit, you know, 
Um, I have the tank ability, but I'm not real sure I want to do that. Um, mega jump, eh, don't use it. I'll probably take one level in dash, which will take me up to level seven, which gives me just an additional dash power. Um, the cooldown is still four seconds, which is still kind of long, but you know, that's how that goes. I may take another level in rampage, which looks pretty good, but I think I want to look at these talents because as of level 50, I have some new talents I can take. Um, some of these were only able to be accessed whenever uh, I was at the level 50, such as Careless, which permanently negates any and all damage caused by kinetic energy. Because right now, even though I have Elvish, I can fly up here, I can take off my Elytra, and I won't take any fall damage. But if I just fly into the side of a building or something like that, like this, I will take damage. Um, so that may be something that I want to invest in. The next thing I'm looking at is haste. It would be nice to have an extra level in haste, uh, especially for the vaults, because there's a lot of times that I want to uh, mine those chests a little bit quicker, uh, the gilded chests and uh, regular chests with my Paxel. Um, I'm thinking that might be a really good one to take uh, to give myself that little bit of extra you know, help with that. Uh, resistance, this just in increases my resistance cap. Uh, so this is not really that effective for me. Uh, stone skin would be nice. Of course, well fit would always be nice. An extra heart, you know, uh, is always a good thing. Um, unbreakable, uh, I mean, I have repairs on my stuff. It's not too bad. Uh, there's also artisan, which is something I've looked at before. It increases the quality of vault gear crafted by the player. Um, and then there's also treasure hunter. Uh, you can only do one or the other. This increases the chance of finding rare loot in vault chests. Um, I like the idea of finding more rare stuff because it gives me a, a reason to go in and, and do more vaults. Um, the artisan is not too bad. I can do the the first level of artisan, which means if I craft my own gear, um, I will most likely get common, but I can no longer roll scrappy. So that gives me you know a really good uh, interest in that. But in order to do that, I will need to unlock vault blacksmith and that's something i do want to do i have been melting down my old uh vault gear for some of the vault scrap and so i can take this vault scrap and uh, turn it into vault ingots just like this and uh, be able to craft my own gear uh, which i think is uh, a really good idea and of course that only only requires a painite gem and netherite scrap which i have plenty of netherite scrap uh, 220 in here so you know, no big deal to be able to get a hold of some of that. So I think that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. Another one I'd also like to unlock would be Torchmaster, um, which lets me actually craft these uh, mega torches that I have here, and they prevent any mobs from spawning in a like a 64 block radius, which is really really nice. So like my base here, I don't have to worry about any mobs being inside here because I have that mega torch there, and then I have another mega torch around the back here, right there. And uh, this keeps me from having to deal with any mobs inside my base. But it would also be really nice to not have any mobs over by the uh, the portal area and the, like the central hub area that we have. Uh, I think that would be very nice to have. But the only problem with that is a mega torch is rather expensive. So if we look at a mega torch here, it requires an echo gem. And as you know, those are so hard to find around here. So I don't think that's something I really want to get into too much. It would be nice to have that, but I don't think it's something I'm going to actually do. And actually while I'm at it, you know, there's another one here, Speed. Uh, speed would be very nice to have as well. So I think what I'm going to do is I am going to take a level of Speed. So now I'm going to be even faster when I'm running around. Now that gives me, still gives me two unspent skill points, so let's see if there's anything we can actually use or if we want to save up those skill points towards haste here. Um, there's nothing in here that I think I can take at this point with just two. I could take in reach, would increase my reach distance, which would be nice. Um, it doesn't increase my hit my, my reach distance for hitting mobs, it's just for like actually accessing chests and uh, stuff like that. Um, I could take breakable, but... Uh, Again, that's not something I really want. Unbreakable. Eh, I could take this. That would let my stuff last a little bit longer. But I could also take Soul Hunter Level 2, which increases my Soul Shard drops multiplied by 50%. Let's do it. 
So let's check the uh, Soul Shard trading here. I could get... See, I have 688. Ooh, Seal of the Architect. That would be nice. Uh, Knowledge Star for 817. Not bad. I know sometimes there's Echo Gems in here. And so I think I'm probably just going to save my uh, Soul Shards up and uh, try to get a little bit more instead of taking... Because this unknown item could be anything. So I think we're just going to hold off on that one. And then we'll collect some more Soul Shards as we run some more Vaults. And for our statue cauldron, we're at 76% towards another Omega. And as always, if you guys have usernames, please put them in the comments. These are some of the wonderful ones that we had gotten recently for some of our Omegas, along with this one over here. Um, so yeah, that's going to be great. Forgot how many uh, Pog ores I have down here. This is looking awesome. Those plentiful vaults are just amazing. All right, so one of the things that uh, we have going, Fuzzy is online right now, along with Rob. We'll probably go visit him too. Fuzzy is working on his stuff over there, and he is in need of another dank. And as you know, danks are kind of expensive to make. And uh, let's see, what do we got here? A dank requires uh, an arena crate, woodyatite, and netherite uh, to make the dank, in addition to some other stuff as well. Um, so I have an extra dank. This is my leftover dank that I had. Uh, that I had created initially, and then I had created some Dank 2s and stuff, so I'm pretty well set on my Danks. I'm going to upgrade some of these a little bit more, but I'm pretty set, so let's go visit Fuzzy real quick and uh, give him a Dank. Well, well, we'll trade him a Dank. Hi there, Fuzzy. Who's talking? <laughs> <laughs> it Where is, is a code. Oh, that was Rob. I thought that was you. Okay, weird. Yeah. <laughs> so don't mind the the, the creepy guy well, just we, peering. We, we are one person into the back of the base here. We're just gonna let that go. So I understand that you would like a dank. I have an extra one actually. Actually, anyway. <laughs> anyway, um, yes, yes. so yes, I would love thank thank I, me. I'm I'm being attacked. Um, so. I need uh, something in exchange from you. Okay. Name so your price. My, my price for this dank here is... You're heavy breathing and then the eggs come flying. <laughs> you couldn't hold it together. There's no one here. There's no one here. Continue your talk. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, so I need, I need some assistance here. I... I'm still getting hit with eggs. <laughs> oh, it's a chicken in here now. Hold on, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Ah. Uh, okay, so I need some assistance with a uh, prank that I'm going to be doing. Okay. I I'm like still pranks. getting hit with eggs. Um, so uh, one of the things I want to do for CWG... Uh, <laughs> Get him. Oh, no. Okay. Um, I need some tasks. So I'm going to be pranking CWG with a scavenger hunt of ta tasks he has to complete. This is going to be the okay. longest segment ever we've ever recorded. <laughs> and I love it. Um, so I need some hilarious tasks we have to make him complete. Because at the end of the scavenger hunt, there's going to be something really good for him. I'm thinking, okay. you know, Echo echo or or uh oh he he is smartly obsessed with echo exactly uh and or you know vault diamond block things like that but i i need some tasks i can't hit him <laughs> i need some tasks uh to make him do and they should be funny he should have to do okay. something crazy and then at the end of a multitude of tasks that I'm, that he is going to be assigned uh, I would like him to be able to Scott him <laughs> like him to be able to receive uh, this awesome thing but uh, these tasks need to be stupid they need to be dumb they need to be wild I'm really good at being stupid and dumb yeah like they need to be something that's just crazy you're not supposed to agree with that oh sorry <laughs> so in exchange for that dank right there I need you to come up with something for me and the first task something. The first task is probably going to be kill this Rob over here. <laughs> no, no, no. No. <laughs> I nailed him. Okay. 
Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I want some eggs no. anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah. Except for these four. Bye. Um, oh, another we've chicken. Him. Oh, we've missed Rob. So yeah, that's what I need in return, Fuzzy. Yeah, I can do that. All right, awesome. We will regroup on this uh, here very soon. Oh yeah, code, code. I can see him. Yeah, there you go. Hey, code, code. code. Fuzzy or er, Rob, code. whatever your name code. is. No, yeah, me. yes, me. Hi. yes, hi. Hello. Hi, how can I help you? Nice to see you. It is so, a pleasure to see you too. It's been too long. I'm going to hit has. you. Stop hitting me. It's not <laughs> like I was pouting chicken eggs at you. Like no, it's fine. It's fine. It's yeah. fine. We're good. We're good. What's up? So I'm I'm, I'm doing something which is going to be awesome. Okay. I like awesome things. I, I, need you, I need you to be part of this awesome thing. Good. We're ready. Are, are, are you ready on board? Excellent. Oh, um, hey, hey, I'm yeah. completely on board. 100,000%. Yeah. I'm here to offer you the trade of your lifetime Ooh. Yep. okay yeah okay. Don't, don't pay any attention to fuzzy he doesn't know what this is um <laughs> <laughs> ignore the man behind the orange yeah. curtain so it's, look it's i'm gonna put, now. i'm gonna put this down okay okay and inside this 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 box is something you definitely want okay okay are you ready for it because you are, are you prepared what, what you, can't, you have to like prepare I, yourself you can't just you know i mean i i d- d- what am i gonna have to have in return this is. Uh, like you said trade. I don't know. So like. Yeah. Yeah. We'll find out. So this is what I'm offering. Sixty-four diorite. Okay. Shh, shh, don't oh, tell people oh, they want it as well. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So that's that's what I'm here to offer. Okay. What would you like what in return? Would, what would you give me in return? That's the question. Ooh. What do you think this is worth? Mm, give me one second. Okay. All right, all right Rob. So I offer. Yeah. 64 yeah. black ice one of oh. the coolest ice blocks out there oh. in exchange for your 64 diorite look at that block like semi-transparent that cool. yeah. so cool and operates as normal ice so that's valuable okay. although not quite okay. as valuable as a diorite but you know i can yeah. always use some extra diorite yeah. All right, yeah, I'll take the black ice. That's fine. I wouldn't want to be seen dead with the diorite, to be honest. It's just, you know, useless rubbish. Well, we, um, we cannot have that. No, no. So, <laughs> so thank you for the for the beautiful black ice. <laughs> You're very, very, very yeah. welcome. I'm going to see what I can do with this. Uh, I think Sturk got some wine, so we'll see if she oh. needs some black ice. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. She is the decoration queen, so you should definitely, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, you should definitely see what she's interested in for that. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for me today. I really appreciate you all tagging along, and be sure to stay tuned for the next episode. We've got even more cool stuff coming. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you all later.